Hey guys, what's up? Taylor Hoffinger here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys on a full 2022 holiday decor apartment tour. We really, really went completely all out this year and honestly, the theme was just red, white, green, crisp, vintage, um, whimsical, magical, and I just really think we did a wonderful job of that this year. I'm doing a little bit different of a style video here today, so I'm gonna do kind of like a vlog style, take you guys around, and I'm only going to be touching on the brand new pieces that I picked up this year because honestly, if I tell you guys where everything is from, we're gonna be here for ages. This will be a 45 minute video, and a lot of these things, if they're old, you just can't really get them anymore. So I don't wanna give you guys false hope if you're not able to get your hands on the old pieces that I have, but I'm going to be touching on all the brand new items, so stay tuned, and without any further ado, let's get into it. So this is what you see when you first walk into our apartment, and let me just break all of this down for you guys and show you pretty much almost where all the new things are from. So I love this little setup. If you're curious, the wooden tray bowl is from Amazon. Such a beautiful modern classic piece, but really the star of the show are these tree picks. So I got these from a website called factorydirectcraft.com. And when I tell you they have such fair prices for tree picks, tree sprays, whatever you want to call them, honestly, they have such good prices. And I was really shocked to find that they ship and deliver the items really, really quickly. So definitely loved those pieces this year. And then the other items I have had for a while. Now panning over here to the kitchen side of things, this is so whimsical with a touch of vintage as well. So you will see the little houses there on the left. I made those a couple of years ago from birdhouses, wooden birdhouses at Michael's. And such a fun project, super easy to do. Little paint, little artificial snow, you're good to go there. So now panning over here, I have had majority of these pieces for a while, but the new addition to the kitchen this year are these cute holly leaf towels. I picked those up from Home Goods. Honestly, I understand the hype with Home Goods this year. The, the prices are really, really fair. And I found those, they were the last set in stock, had to swoop those up. And then panning over here to this cute little vintage coffee tiered tray. I've wanted to do this for years now. The white two tiered tray itself is from Hobby Lobby and these go on sale all the time. I have the same one in black for Halloween. Super cute, effective piece. And then the mugs, I have a new mug here from Home Goods. So cute, whimsical, just makes me think of Santa coming to deliver presents on Christmas Eve. And then that Merry Christmas mug there is from Target. Hoping you guys can kind of see or register what they look like, but we had, I think they're eight or nine foot long piece garlands. And there's a set of two. They're from Home Goods Online, the Martha Stewart collection. They're flocked, they have pine cones, they have a red plaid burlap. Tyler put in his Lumineo LED lights and it's just beautiful pieces. We got them so early on in the season, they were both on sale. So honestly, it was a steal of a deal. If you're concerned about the pricing of Christmas decorations, honestly, just buy them a couple months in advance and usually everything for the most part is gonna be on sale. Wanted to show you guys this rug I picked up this year. I believe it was from either JCPenney or Bed Bath & Beyond. Honestly, it's been so long since I bought it, but it's so beautiful, vintage Christmas bow, vintage holly leaves. That's really the theme I was going for this year. And then I just had to show you guys this cute little setup. It's very similar to what I had last year, but I added the red berry tree picks from Factory Direct craft.com and then of course i'm sure you're dying to know dollar tree for the dishware and the mug can't go wrong with dollar tree christmas dishware if you are able to find it now for what i like to call the ps de resistance or however you pronounce it this is our tree this year a lot of things we used also the past couple of years but 
I will clue you in here on a few new items that we added just to really give the tree a uh, a spruce. So these picks are new this year, again from factorydirectcraft.com. I feel like I have said that website at least six times today. And then I got these six inch glitter large ornaments from At Home. At Home has really fair prices for larger ornaments. And then the MVP of this year was really Walmart. I was really shocked. So we got these Argyle looking ones from Walmart the vintage Santa ones, and then as well as these cute velvet faux present ornaments as well. I will pan back a little bit. The ribbon you can honestly get anywhere. Michaels, Target, Walmart. The key there is just to have a wire base so that you're able to maneuver and manipulate the ribbon to fit any size and shape tree or present that you desire. And then let's see, did we get any other new ornaments this year? The only other thing I can think of are these humongous 8 inch gold sparkle ornaments. They really take up a lot of real estate on the tree. They look so gorgeous and glimmery. It just adds such a champagne sparkle to the tree. I love sparkle on my trees. And then these kind of finial, I think that's what they call them. Red velvet pieces are also from Walmart. Don't sleep on Walmart. Walmart had really lovely pieces this year. If you're curious where the tree itself is from, we picked it up at Home Depot. Really fair price. It is a seven and a half foot tree. Now let's come into the living room. My goodness, I can't believe this turned out as cute as it did. The living room definitely has been a point of contention for me but basically the throw blanket and all the pillows we have had for years. So this red green plaid table runner is from the North Pole Trading Company collection at JCPenney. You're about to see a lot of pieces that I'm going to mention from the North Pole Trading Co from JCPenney. Honestly, again, another game changer this year. I never thought JCPenney would have to die for Christmas decorations, but I was wrong. The red velvet deer behind it is from Target. I think it was five or $10. Such a cute piece. They came in a multitude of different colors. And then this candle holder, this Bath and Body Works pedestal candle holder was originally silver. And I picked it up secondhand off of Mercari, spray painted it red. It's exactly what I was looking for. I needed a candle pedestal holder to fit my Bath and Body Works candle. And yeah, honestly, Mercari or even Poshmark, you can find old Bath and Body Works pedestal candle holders that fit the candles perfectly. Again, from that JCPenney North Pole collection, I got this beautiful eucalyptus pine glitter red berry wreath. I added the red velvet bow at the top from Walmart. It was $2, steal of a deal. Now for the TV stand area, which, wow, I, I just really can't believe it ended up looking this cute. Um, definitely worked hard to put everything together, but these faux LED birch trees are from Amazon. We got a pack of two. They were around $75. There's a five footer and a six footer. And actually, since they made a mistake on the order, they sent us two extra trees for free. So now we kind of have an LED birch tree mini forest. So we'll plan, you know, when we have more space to put all four of the trees up. And then the faux snow you can get pretty much anywhere. I think they picked that up from Joann's. Oh, we have a visitor. Hello. You want to show everybody your home? You want to show everybody? Oh, no. You just want to show them your bed? Show them your bed. Show them your toys. Are those your Christmas toys? Yeah. You get Christmas and Halloween toys every year. We switch out your toys and it's gotta match the season because you're my princess. Okay, back to the video. So let's break down the TV stand setup. There's quite a few new pieces here, if I'm being honest, so I'll try my best to go through absolutely everything. Those vintage Santa ornaments, let me pan in closer here because they are just Perhaps one of the cutest pieces I have found this year. They are originally from Raz Imports. They were about six or seven dollars each, but totally worth it. They are wood and they're so beautiful. Again, loved the vintage Christmas style this year. And then these lanterns with the eucalyptus faux foliage at the top are both from JCPenney. 
this vintage little deer I got from Target. Perhaps one of the most expensive pieces that I got. I normally don't like to spend $40 on a singular piece, but I fell in love with that deer. Look at him. He is the sweetest little love bug on this planet, so I had to have him. And then actually this church, or this vintage looking church, I picked up at a thrift store, local to me, and it was only about three or four dollars, and I zhuzhed it up. So I added paint, red accents, and I just love it. It's, it ended up being one of my favorite pieces that I've ever picked up. These ornaments I picked up from Amazon this year just to fill out that bowl that I keep out year round. And then this beautiful long garland piece. It's very similar to the pieces in the kitchen as well. We kind of wanted to go for all of a similar vibe there. This is also from the North Pole Trading Company collection at JCPenney. Wanted to come into Tyler's office and of course show off his cute little decorations as well. He definitely goes for a vivid red, green, gold theme and I just think his office turned out so cute. We didn't get many new pieces in here, only one, and it's this beautiful Jesus, Mary, Joseph scene that he picked up from at home. Only about $25, so super cost effective there. Now we are moving into our hallway and then eventually the master bedroom. I've had all these pieces for years, but the new items are gonna be those fun little peppermint swirly candy ornaments. I got those, I think a pack of 10 off of Amazon. And then this white sparkle star is from Walmart. Now for the cozy master bedroom. My gosh, it's so cute. There's so much more I feel like I want to do to this space, but baby steps. So the quilt and the pillow shams that you see there with the deers, that whole set is from a brand called Levtex Home. And I picked it up off of Amazon. It was about $100 for a king size set. Levtex Home really knocked it out of the park this year with Christmas bedding. Or maybe they knock it out of the park every year and I've just now kind of discovered them. But... Love text home for Christmas bedding if you're interested. That Merry Christmas pillow in the center is also from the North Pole Trading Co. selection at JCPenney. Here is the other side of our bedroom. Honestly, not much is new over here. We've had that tree, that tree skirt, and this garland piece from Pier 1 for years now. Really, the only thing I added are two pieces from Amazon. These little LED glass light-up ornaments. I guess added such a cute glow to this piece and then also these faux red berries are from Amazon as well. Okay guys so we have made it into the final space. This is the master bathroom and from what I can remember I don't think I did much decorating in the master bathroom last year so this is definitely very exciting for me to be expanding the decor for the holidays into multiple different rooms. So I love this little scene here. I got the candy cane sign for five bucks at Target. Again, factorydirectcraft.com for the faux picks and sticks. I've had this for years from Target. These cute red, soft, fluffy chenille rugs are both from Bed Bath & Beyond. And then I've got some Merry Christmas towels over here in the corner over the toilet. Target, you can't go wrong with hand towels from them. Speaking of Target, I've got this Feliz Navidad rug from Target as well. I think it was like $10. Their rugs and hand towels are really fair price. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it for you all. If there's anything specific that you're really curious on as to where I got it, please leave it in the comments down below. I can definitely clue you in, but I really appreciate you guys for tuning into my channel today and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.